Mariah Carey, she's my number one. Brazilian singer Anita dishes on the women that inspired her upcoming album, Kisses, out April 5th. I know you wanna get to know me, but I ain't sure if you can handle it. Yeah, I started singing in a church with my grandfather, and um, I was born with this, you know, singing and singing Mariah Carey because my aunts they're crazy about Mariah so she was the first singer I've listened to when I was I don't know one two years old maybe and um, I always I was always crazy about music and I, I always told my mom that I was gonna be a singer and sing everywhere and um, I started in the church with my grandpa which is pretty cool because in Brazil if you don't have money it's kind of hard for you to learn um, art stuff language it's not easy so the church helped me with this all I know about music it was there like seven or eight years singing in the church they had ten personalities different personalities in this album I have a lot of people that made me made me think about to get into that side like for example I grew up listening to Mariah Carey she's my number one 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 or number zero <laughs> it's so one that it's zero she taught me how to sing she was the first person I've ever listened to in my life so Mariah Carey when I sing the romantic parts it's I she gets me inspired and when I want to be strong, I think about Beyonce. When I want to be sexy and kind of have this boy attitude, I think about Rihanna. And when I want to have this, like this teenage, but sexy teenage stuff and in funny way to be, I think about Ariana Grande. So I think that every, every woman, when I, when I want to get my sarcastic part, I think about Cardi B. I love her so much. I think that each woman has something to show us, to, to teach us. Anita teased her favorite songs on the album, including Banana, a saucy collab with Latina singer Becky G. So this song is the sarcastic thing. We have double sense in the lyrics. It's, uh, the video is colorful. Um, it's sexy, but at the same time, it's like, it's funny, so it's not a heavy, sexy thing. And I think it matches with her, with the way she is. And I really like her, she's pretty, she has the attitude, and she's funny. And I definitely wanted a woman for the Latin world to be with me in this album, because I think it's important to show to everyone. Basically, in the urban side of the Latin music, they it's so many, so many men, and it's important to have women and together to show to show everybody that when we are together, we are powerful, we are stronger. And she has the same thoughts in her mind, so that's why I invited her. All of the songs are really, really good. None of the songs are just to fill full the album, you know, just to be there and just to play one more song. All of them are kind of really great, so it's hard to decide one. I like I like Poquito with Sway Lee. I like Banana with Becky G and I like the one with Snoop Dogg a lot too. I think people are gonna like more these three songs. So this album I, I mean I think it's the most risk thing I've ever done in my career because I'm mixing the three languages that I speak, which is Spanish, Portuguese and English. <laughs> Prince Royce is also making an appearance, not only in a song on Kisses, but in their steamy music video for Rosa. The name of the song was where Prince Royce is Ros Rosa, it means roses. This song was made for, uh, it was a, a match of Brazilian producers and songwriters from the Latin side, the Spanish side. And this one is really sensual. The, the beat is sensual, the lyrics 
essential so um, we definitely need to do essential things so the name is Rosa and you used a lot of rules in the way and and the video matches a lot with the with the lyrics so is really sensual and deep stuff. But Anita and Royce keep things professional. The pair has collaborated together in the past and Royce recently tied the knot. We were talking about it during the song and the video. Her makeup artist is my makeup artist too, so it's kind of close things. And yeah, I'm really happy for this.